back again. I'm back playing this. So I've played the first part, True Fear, last weekend and then I finished it off this morning. So I'm going to play a bit more of it because obviously when I split it into two parts I have to know how it ends now. Um, it is a point and click, it is a hidden object game um, and we will get started on this. I am going to play it casually with casual puzzles because I just want the story more than anything. Um, and I don't like it when the puzzles are too hard. Previously on True Fear, it takes forsaken forever. souls. I've always had a reoccurring nightmare. A hospital from a horror movie, a terrible fire, and someone, something, staring right at me. That night I was awoken by a visitor, a letter from my long-lost sister, Heather. I followed the instructions, mm -hmm. yeah. went to the address, expecting to find her, but instead, found her body. She'd been dead for years. Yet someone sent the letter, lit the candles, and watched from the shadows. Who? And why? And it was just the beginning. Heather left a clue only I would understand. A warning I mistook for an invitation. It took me to our old house, where I found a message from our mother. Two tapes, labeled one and three. She said that we had another sister. So we had to institutionalize her. She died there. And one person, Charles Laudius, seemed to be behind it all. I told Charles we're selling the house. He's going to stop by today. So this she is had no one, one to turn like to, recap. just one against the world. I love you girls so much. Her body was found the day she recorded the tapes. A suicide. I never believed in. Now, after all those years, I could finally find the truth. Or so I thought. You must never go to the Dark Falls Asylum. Whoops. She almost killed herself. Yeah, so it turns out that she thought she was a twin but she was actually a triplet and the third sister got put into this asylum um, and she's trying to figure out what's happening and she's been tricked into going to this asylum and seriously she needs to just pull over she's dangerous bloody hell I wouldn't go into a creepy abandoned ah! asylum if you paid me. They'd be like, we need you to go to this asylum. Like, no. Don't care how much for. Um, no, I mean, I know how to play these games. Okie dokie. Let's have a quick look. Where are my car keys in the car? Oh, she had a lucky escape. You see that branch ran through the entire car. And her car's leaking as well. Can I pick this up? Nope. Wow, guys. <laughs> this place looks even creepier than I expected. Great choice. I'm at the bridge now. I've scratched the entry code on the warning sign for yeah, you. Yeah, she's like left him in the car. Dan. Make sure the videographer gets the exact angles we talked about. If it's Jeff, make sure we don't get any of his artistic crap. 
Okay. They've changed the layout of this, but that's cool. Okie dokie. No one could find the bodies or the perpetrator. Ooh. Is it really a massacre though if you can't find any bodies? Yeah, so that light will be in the car. I don't think there's anything else I can pick up here. Do, 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 do. Exactly. So they're calling it a massacre, but prove it. Maybe with. So, okay, so I need to find a wire or something. Nice catch. I didn't think of that. What do I do with a cup of gas, though? Right, I still don't have the lighter, which is in the car. I'm trying to find something thin, but like this pole, but it won't let me go down to pick it up. Just try the cup with everything. Okay. Oh, there we go. I can go left down here. So I dropped a toolbox, a wrench. Yes, I go get it. Oh, okay, I can't just jump down there. I need a way to get back up. Well, they were saying it's locked, locked. So the door's locked, and we need something thin to, like, get in. I'm gonna cheat. Yeah, there's this creepy doll. That breathes out hints for you. Oh, for the love of... Okay. I didn't realise that was wire. I thought that was like a chain. The glass. Okay, so I need to saw that off somehow. But I have the lighter. glove. If I get that glove I can clear the glass off my front seat. I know. I'm like how did he know the code though? Did he bring his own padlock?
Dead people are still there. If only I had a quarter. Um, I don't know, I could not say. Ah, can I pry this up? Does that count as being thin enough? To make a full on fire? Okay. Maybe if I add a little gas. Why can't I pick up the other bit? Okay. Um, so I need to go back to the car. So now I can get my keys and open my trunk. Okay, but why can't I take the box with me? I don't have anything thin like that. Aha! Uh -huh. These do? <laughs> I know I should have put the tools back after assembling that cupboard. Why are you using the tools from your car? There's a wrench? Where is there a wrench? Oh, you mean down here? Uh... Oh, yeah, there's a toolbox. Oh, yeah, but she wanted a way back up, didn't she? Like, maybe those branches over... Like, here? Maybe if I come round, will it let me? Hmm... Oh, hang on, let's see what's over here. Too dark. Can't do anything. This is another reason I really like the maps you get with these games because it tells you all the scenes and the, if there is an action available. Like, if you can actually do something in that scene. God damn it. Um, and then you can just go straight there without any of the sort of fart arsing around. <laughs> okay, I don't have any wire cutters. I didn't see anyone. <laughs> Is anyone there? No answer. That's the only good answer. Okay, I think I need a key that's kind of cross-shaped. Oh, there's the bloody handprint. Is that a quarter? Uh, can I pry it up? Got a nice battery. 
I'm unpacking at the guard booth. There's still power here, but I think the rest of the hospital is out. The gate mechanism definitely is out of power, at least. I'm going to go explore. Oh, and Dan, thanks for not charging the night vision camera. Really appreciate it. I like this. This um, kind of tape thing didn't happen in the first part. That's creepy. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to turn the lights on. Does that not look like a light switch? Especially in an asylum. Alex, shh. Use camera. Let's use the code for camera too. Oh, okay. So, this like the guards' flashbacks and stuff. Oh. Okay, well, I've got one of them. Um, oh, I was trying to open the drawer. Bugger. I don't think I would find... Ooh. Ah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Let's go. Oh, actually, see if I can take that map. Yes! And then you can do shit like this. I love it. Oh, blood everywhere. Right, where is it? Where is the lake? There it is. Good shout. Right, let's grab a wrench. Seriously? <sighs> Gonna need that brush. Oh. 
Ooh, gunshot. So I need something to cut the wire with, but I don't have anything just yet. Mm. Locker key. I knew she would be here. This time she feels closer. It's almost like she's in a room just before I enter it, like she arrived a moment before me. Yet I'm still not sure that she is real. Every time I think that I see her, I look closer and there is nothing there. I know that I know now that I follow her, not the opposite. What does she want me to see? I think I hope that I know who she is. I must find her. I think she's some kind of demon, like I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go messing around with that, we're gonna get killed. Like, I think this character thinks that she is Dahlia, her third sister. I don't think she is. Can I flip it down? No. Okay. Well, let's see what we can find back in here. Ooh, okay. Seventeen. Okay. That's... Maybe. So, camera seventeen, I've got to use the... So, red, green, red. Okay, and now I can flip a mug over and put these in. Click. Oh, up here. Now there's the question, you're looking at a monitor, you see yourself and something behind you, do you turn around or do you not? Like do you just leave it and just go, maybe if I don't look, they won't find me. Clean the dirty one. So one six five something nine. I think that's probably it for this bit. Aha, I saw I can get my phone out. I was at the bridge working on the damage from the accident when I heard a whisper. It was Jessie, the nurse that died in the Block A fire, right in my ear. I even felt her breath on my neck. I dropped my toolbox on the ice. I'll send Alex to get it tomorrow. And then they all disappeared slash died in a fire. Uh, okay, so back to the car. Oh, phone's broken, which is strange because that looked like a Nokia in the uh, 
split second that I saw it, and those are indestructible, so I believe that it was not actually the branch or the crash that did that damage, it was the ghost. Those things are bricks, that's the only way you can damage those. Oh, I need the wrench. But in order to get the wrench, I need that brush, I think it was. Um, there we go. Pop the new one in. Right, I need the key. Oh, someone's left their bag. Drugs? Oh, just keys. I'm fairly certain that one of those keys is for the gate controls. Too bad I can't tell which one and I can't just go and try them all. Some keys are so rusted that they might break inside the lock. Ooh, a tape. I can't get my hands on the gate key, nor can I turn the power back on. I'll wait for you guys to show up. I hope you remember to bring those bandages. Honestly, <laughs> I do have to say, guys, I think this will be our best show yet. <sighs> this place is unreal. You can almost imagine that there's actually something here. Okay. I feel like he's regretting everything right now. Let's go and sort these keys. Um, where was it? Here? Oh, down here. Oh, this kind of game. Okay. Nope. Down here. Little square key. Oh. Some of these keys don't fit at all. Hmm. You go there. And you go there. Ah. There goes down there. Like that. No? I thought I had, if I not. Yeah, that looks fine. That one looks fine. Oh, maybe that needs to be over here. There we go. I had the notches wrong. Broke it. With pliers. Okay, and then we need to find some fuses. What is I don't have a special key for locker one though. And I can't click anything else in here. And I need something to cut the wire for that. And that just goes on about the blood green frash. Okay. Oh, this is a big old map. Okay, okay. Oh, hang on. Can 
Can I go around the corner? Yes. Let's look into this room a bit more. Holly? Mrs. Stonehouse came by again. She kept, kept, she kept telling me, keeps telling me that her daughter is being kept here against her will. Other times, however, she is calmer and, although sad, seems reassured by her daughter being here. Unless that child is actually Holly, and then naming her, and I, who think I am Holly, is Dahlia. Conspiracy, conspiracy theory. Um. Okay, what was the four six five something nine? And let me know how we guess that. We just keep changing the number. Oh, gross. The blood is still sticky. Ah, and that's that key for here, I think. Can I pry that out now? Broke it. Oops. Oh, yeah, so he disappeared. And I think that's probably everything in here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, lucky key one. Lovely. The strangest locker key I've ever seen. Oh. Yeah. Why wouldn't I grab the wallet? Ah, I've got some wire cutters. Nice. So with wire cutters I can get the brush. And with the brush, I can get the wrench. Oh, it's trapped in the ice. Oh, crap. Hello. Wakey, wakey. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, carefully. <sighs> ah! That didn't actually surprise me. I was expecting something like that. Oh, well. Right. So, now I have a wrench. I can go back to my car and do these things nice grab my battery and cut this snip snip mmm FNAF? I don't know that word, I'm afraid.
Do, 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 do. I want to know how she had the fuses. Like the fuses that would fit. Um, oh, maybe it's a bit around the corner, actually. This bit. Okie dokie, got a power issue. Oh, look, a battery I just coincidentally happened to have. Oh, okay. Um, six, three, eight, four. What do they mean in the correct order? Like, oh, I see. Seven, eight. Uh huh. Oh, hang on, there was something shiny there. Oh, okay. It was just for the door. Pull the lever. Pull the lever, Kronk. Roll the lever! Ah. Okay. I don't think I'd be leaving that way. <laughs> 